All right, let's get started. Now in the previous videos, we've seen how we can do an end-to-end -end machine learning project right from getting our data sets ready, doing some exploratory data analysis, and then building our model and deploying it via our browser, right? Um, through through Flask, right? Previously, we did through Flask. So in this particular project, we're also going to do another end-to-end -end machine learning project where we're going to do the deployment through Heroku, okay? And uh, in the subsequent videos, we're going to do it through um, Google Cloud and AWS and also um, and also Microsoft Azure. All right, so um, let's get started now. Let, before we get started with the get and our data set ready, doing all the spiritual data analysis and deploying it. Let's see the final project that we are going to build by the end of this tutorial. All right, so over here, we're going to build a model that will help us to predict the price of the various airlines that we have in India. All right, so over here, you can see that um, we have the source. So for instance, let's say I'm coming from Delhi and I want to go to say Hyderabad or Calcutta, right? So um, let me just choose Calcutta over here. And then um, I can choose, I can choose the date that I want to set off so maybe um, on the 28th right and then I can even set the time maybe um 10 right 10 um Maybe I want to go at, at, at 10 o'clock, right? Something like that. So I can just choose uh, whatever time that I want over here, PM, okay? And then um, I can also choose the arrival date. I mean, you can you can ignore this one if you want to. Right, so maybe on the 29th, so I set off on 28th, then maybe on 29th, and then I'm just going to set any hypothetical date over here, right? And then um, after that, I can choose the airline that I want. So maybe um, Jet Airways, I want to use Jet Airways and um, just, the number of stops maybe one one stop is fine for me All right so then i submit to this right so as soon as i click on the submit you can see that we have the results over here as um, 13,693, um, right, um, 0.42 rupees. All right, so now I can see, I can have an idea of the of the, of the the cost that I have to bear if I want to move from, say, Mumbai, to, I mean, Delhi to Calcutta, right? So, I mean, I mean this, is, this is quite intuitive compared to when you build it in a Jupyter notebook and then you leave it over there. All right, so basically that's what you're going to do. You're going to be able to deploy our model um, via um, Heroku, right, so that people can access it anywhere through their web browser and then um, they can actually interact with our model, right? So that's that's basically what we're going to do by the end of this this um, this project. Okay, all right, so um, let's see the various steps that we need to follow before we, we get to this stage, all right? So I've actually put the steps down for you so that um, it will not be difficult for you. Things will be smooth for you when you want to work alongside this. All right. So um, previously we did we did uh, another project where we were able to help with the various restaurants that are linked to Zomato to be able to predict their restaurant ratings, right? And we deploy this using Flask, right? We deploy this using Flask. So over here, what we're going to do is to deploy this using um, Heroku, right? You're going to deploy this using Heroku, and um, I, for, in order for us to move forward, I assumed, right? I assumed that you first watched that that um, first video where we deployed our our Zomato um, restaurant restaurant analysis using using Flask, right? So I assume that you've watched that video. If you've not watched that, I entreat you to watch that before this video because some of the things that we're going to do are actually going to have eight pieces in that. I mean, coming from that that particular video all right and it's quite explanatory in that in that video if you watch that this one will be very very simple for you i mean it's not that if you will not watch that you cannot still work. you can still um go along with this one but things will be easier for you if you watch that video all right so if you've not watched that i entreat you to watch that before this all right so if that's if you've watched that then i mean you're good to go with this one right and um so what we're going to do is to actually choose our use case. In this case, we're going to um, predict the flight price of um, the various airlines that we have in India, right? So that's that's basically what we are going to actually do for this particular um, for this particular project, right? That's what we're going to do. Now, after that, what after we've 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 um, chosen our, our our use case. The next thing that we're going to do is to get our data set 
prepared and then build our, our model right so we're going to get our data set prepared and then build our model all right so um that's that's the next step that we're going to do so our use case is to predict the flight price of the various airlines that we have in India. Okay, then after that, we're going to create a web app using Flask, just like we did in the previous video. And then we're going to commit every code to GitHub. All right. And then after that, we're going to create an account on Heroku. Okay. And then we are going to link this account that we've created on Heroku to our GitHub account, right? So that we'll be able to um, use this code that we've committed to um, GitHub. Okay. And then we finally deploy and then test our app. Okay, so it's just, just simple steps that we're going to follow in this particular project. All right.